scripture says, he that winneth souls is wise. The way you get excited about the gospel is by giving it away. Now, my grandfather, when he was 17, he got saved. And he made a vow to the Lord that God helping him every day of his life, he would clearly explain the gospel to someone. When he was 95 years old, I said to him, how's it gone? And he said, well, there were a couple of days I was in a coma in the hospital. I'm not sure whether I witnessed or not. But he said, God has helped me every day of my life to do it. When he was 96, his kidneys shut down. They took him to the hospital. They were lifting him off the gurney onto the bed. He looked up and he, he said to the nurse, I think I know you. Now this was his making a move, you see. He knew lots of families in St. Catharines. He lived there since 1913. And he was able to make family connections, you see, and he never forgot a faith. And I think the Lord gave him that ability because he used it in the gospel. Because then he could say, well, let me tell you what happened to your Uncle Joe. And he'd tell him how he got saved. And that was his entree in the gospel, you see. But anyway, he says to this woman, I know you. No, you don't know me. He said, what was your name before you were married? She said, that won't help you. My name was Smith. And he reached out and tapped her on the end of her nose and he said, you're Charlie Smith's daughter. I recognize his nose. Well, Charlie Smith was a customer in his grocery store about 40 years before. Now he had the connection, you see? And so that, that was his, his tactic, just telling people stories about relatives of theirs, how they got saved or how they heard the gospel. Or, I took your grandmother's funeral, whatever it might be. We have all of these connections if we just use them. We don't have to do cold calls. There are hundreds of connections we already have if we just open our eyes to see them. It's not, it's not an impossible thing. God has not asked us to do an impossible thing. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When I got such a burden for sharing the gospel, and I was so poor at it, and I got down one night and I said, Lord, I'm a chicken. You know I'm a chicken. I know I'm a chicken. If you can use chickens, I'm available. I'll read the word. I'll think about something that really thrills my heart about the gospel. Like, Here's somebody who's made himself available to me 24 hours a day. Whenever I have a problem, doesn't matter how little it is, I can go right to him. He gives me his undivided attention. Isn't that something to offer to somebody? You're going through troubles in life, and you need a friend. I can't stick with you all the time, but there is a friend who will stay with you every minute of the day, and he's really a good friend because he has unlimited resources, and he is ready to help you at a moment's notice a very present help in time of trouble. What a tremendous thing that is to give people. The way you get excited about the gospel is by giving it away. And when you see other people respond to the gospel and they say, wow, that's amazing, you say, yeah, you're really, it is. You get some of your light, you start catching their heat. That's what happens. And you'll get excited about it when you give it away.